the holidays are a stressful time for lots of people, and many of us just want to find a way to lessen that stress as much as possible. Well, cattle get stressed too, and one way that happens is with hot iron branding. Well, enter freeze branding. It's less painful than typical branding and still provides a highly visible and permanent mark on the animal's skin. I was joined by South Dakota State University Extension's Dr. Taylor Grussing to get a better idea of what freeze branding is and what goes into the process. So freeze branding is a form of identification that can be used for livestock that will change the pigments of the hair follicle, creating a bright white or a lighter haired color. So numbers and symbols can be read on the animal's side from a long distance away. Could you give our viewers some details on how the process works? So the process of freeze branding has a couple different materials that you'll need to start out with, including some freeze branding irons that can range from three to five inches in size. Then you'll need some isopropyl alcohol and dry ice or liquid nitrogen can be used also. Then you'll need some clipping shears to, with a surgical blade to get the hair clipped all the way down to the hide as close as possible. A squeeze bottle as well as a bristle brush to clean the area once it's clipped. So once the animal is in the chute, it can be restrained and the brand can be located either on the shoulder, hip, or rib, and on the left or right side, it doesn't really matter, depending on where the producer wants the identification labeled. And so they can clip a square area, whether it's on the hip or the rib, and allow that to be as straight as possible to hopefully have your brands follow that straight line so the numbers can be relatively straight when we look at them in the future. So they clip the area first and then you clean it off with a bristle brush and drench it with the isopropyl alcohol in order to uh, make sure the skin is still um, clean and has enough alcohol on it before the brand is placed. You want to have someone um, in charge of putting the alcohol on the skin right before the brand is placed on the animal. We hold the brands on the skin for about 55 seconds. In order to get a good contact, you want to rock the brand kind of up and down and left and right. And if the animal jumps for any period of time, make sure you add some time back to the clock um, in order to make sure that the brands are on the skin for a, a minimum of 55 seconds. And the whole process takes roughly about five minutes depending on how many brands you want to place on the animal. So what do you see as some benefits of freeze branding over regular branding? So freeze branding is a little bit less stressful than hot branding, for example. It, does, it takes a longer period of time in the, while the animal's standing in the chute, but it's not as damaging to the hide or as stressful to the animal. In addition, the brands are more readable. And so when you're looking across the pasture to see the numbers one, two, three, for example, um, is a brighter white color that can be read very easily on any dark hided cattle. So freeze branding does work the best on black and red animals. Um, however, it can be utilized on white or lighter haired animals, but the process will need to be lengthened for about 60 seconds. So that way it would, would appear more like a hot brand than a freeze brand. Now, is this something that's easy to learn or would a professional need to be brought in? So producers can do freeze branding themselves. The main piece of equipment that they would need to purchase would be the irons. They can be bought on several livestock supply web pages or some veterinary clinics will rent them out. Um, there's also veterinary clinics or um, livestock companies that will come out and do this for the producers. Um, and the charges usually range um, in the per, the per head value or even a per digit value depending on the type of program or type of numbers they're putting on the animals. So what needs to be taken into consideration as far as time and labor that's needed to do this process? So freeze branding can be a relatively labor intensive procedure. As I said, it does take longer than hot branding. And so it's good to plan at least four people when you're going about the freeze branding procedure. So that way you have one person to bring animals up into the chute, one person to catch them, 
another to clip and prepare the freeze branded area with the alcohol and also that person should keep time or having a cheap kitchen timer that will beep at 55 seconds is another option for that and then if you have two people to hold the irons that may be better for the if it's a long day process um, but one person that consistently is holding the brands all day long is very valuable so that way the brands are consistently placed throughout the day and finally, is there a best time of the year to freeze brand the cattle? So freeze branding works the best when the environment is cooler. So traditionally this will be done in the fall or the winter time from let's say November to April. And that's simply due to keeping the liquid, the dry ice and the isopropyl alcohol cool and keeping your irons cool through the entire period of time. When it's windy out, uh, that will evaporate faster and the irons may not stay as cool. And then also yearling cattle are the best animals to implement freeze branding on as they are relatively, um, they're still growing, um, but they're not in any stage of production that, such as pregnancy that we want to avoid. And so they also have adequate body condition score or a fat cover on their hip and ribs. And so that way we can get a good contact with their skin and their irons. Thanks again to Dr. Grussing for coming on the show. And here's an interesting fact. Freeze branding was first used in Sweden back in 1966.